Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. This morning, I've cycled down to Greenway Ferry. I'm just below Agatha Christie's former house on the River Dart. Lovely, quiet spot this time in the morning. Just gone seven o'clock. So I thought I'd give myself a bit of a plan today and I'm going to just try and photograph man-made objects, things in the landscape. Could be anything. On my cycle to work I go past some old railway bridges and some road signs that just look uh, very nice in the early morning light. That gave me the idea. Anyway. I was up early, up just before five o'clock, missed the sunrise, and now I've cycled over the top of the hill from Brixham, and it was very misty this morning. And I was hoping to get some shots down on the river from the top of the hill, but far too misty. But what I did manage to capture, I was really pleased with. Really good start. Definitely a man-made object in the landscape. Probably could have upped the exposure a little bit to make it a little brighter. But by doing that, the fence dis disappeared more quickly into the distance. Just like the uh, composure of this with the fence diagonal and the sheep. So I'm just going to wait for some light. It's trying to break through uh, some cloud and every now and again get some light on the scene behind me. And there's a boathouse just over there that I'd really like to photograph. So as you can see the light is trying to get through those clouds. It's already giving some nice reflections. Plenty of photographs to be had. Just need a little bit more light. It's all looking just a little flat. Yeah, the slight misty conditions and the lack of that side light didn't really make much of this photograph, so I haven't done much to it. What I do like is just that boathouse against the trees. And there's that dead one just to the left, which, uh, really adds to the scene, but this could have done with a bit more light. Well, you may have noticed by the change in the tire, time's moved on a bit. It's now the following week. Um, when I started filming down on the River Dart, people started to arrive and it was very quiet. And I felt so self-conscious filming and uh, just wasn't feeling the uh, filmmaking. So decided to stop and just take photographs. So I've come back to Churston and the photograph I made of a church with the hay bales in front of it. Last week there was a little bit of mist around the church and the buildings over the other side of this field. Don't think you'd be able to see it right now it's a, a, a bit blown out when I'm trying to expose the uh, shot for my face. I'm not exactly sure if this is exactly what I filmed last week, but you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get some of these bales in the foreground, but also get the others to uh, lead up to the church with maybe a bit of separation. And I think I actually cropped it in a lot closer than that. Well, this is a shot I managed to get the previous week. And I did manage to get a good leading line from these bales leading up to the church. Really like how this balances the scene. And I've left the uh, plants in the foreground just so there isn't an expanse of open field. And the ad 
the mist, should I say, adds a little bit of depth to it. As you can see this morning, there's some lovely light coming through the trees. So, need to film that. Okay, let's move on to the next photograph. Well, I passed by this uh, sign, this old railway bridge, on my way to work every day. And this sign has always uh, caught my eye, just sat in all that greenery. And because there's no writing on it, I think it makes a nice shot. I think I was inspired by James Popsis. If you don't follow him, I'd recommend going to have a look at his channel. But uh, most of what he shoots are man-made objects in the landscape. So I thought this worked best as a black and white, just leaving the red ring of the uh, road sign. Not much to it, but I like the composition, I like the contrasting colours, and I like the minimal look of that road sign with no writing on it. To me at least makes quite a striking photo. Well, I've stopped off at another one of my favourite spots down here at uh, Campton Creek. I was pretty sure the tide was going to be in, which it is, and it gives you some lovely reflections of this pontoon in the middle of the creek. And the light's just perfect. So, some more man-made objects in the landscape. Yes, what a lovely shot with this light. There's also some stranger things like this sign. This beach and fundus is private. No access or right of way exists. Well, there's a new word for me. So I thought I'd start off just by taking some shots of the whole scene. So this is just a single shot pano using the wide angle lens. I think what I was at, about 28 mil I think. I had my Sony 16 to 55 mil lens on so I could play around with the composure. And I zoomed in I think a little bit to the uh, left I quite like the pontoon and the balance with the boats on the left hand side. What I was trying to do is use the actual water as the leading line between the boats into the distance. And it's anchored at the front by that small patch of weed in the bottom right, which uh, really adds something to that photo. As you can see, the creek's really nice this time in the morning. Some lovely light. That's what I've come to photograph. You can see the pontoon in the middle with the boats. The masts reflected in the water. Really nice. So I think I'm going to try a portrait shot. And I'll also put on the uh, polarizer and uh, see what that does to the reflections. So I think the photograph's going to be something like that. Might uh, get more of the reflections of the water in and less sky. Give that a go. Well, what I actually did was uh, move slightly to the left with a slight angle on the uh, pontoon. I thought it 
was a better balance with the background. You can just see that small boat on the uh, left hand side in the distance. Just wanted to separate that from the pontoon. Looked nice but not much uh, interest in the sky. So what I thought I'd do is just turn it into a black and white. This tends to work really well with uh, bright sunny days. And what you can also do in post-processing is play around with the exposure of the colours. So what I've done is uh, taken the exposure of the blues down to make them darker and pulled up the yellows, which is made much more of a feature of the masts of the boats. Really pleased with that. Well, this sign looks nice as well. There's something man-made in the landscape. Just need to get the compositions right. Maybe something like that. Again, I really like this. Putting the sign right at the front of the shop. And I thought the uh, more panoramic shot worked better. Cutting out some of that bland sky and using the sign to point your eye straight to the pontoon. While I'm enjoying this quiet morning, I'd just like to say thank you to all my subscribers. Always surprises me that anyone wants to watch my videos. So thank you very much. So let's have a bit more of a look around and see what other photographs I can find. I think this uh, rescue ring here will be the first subject. Well, I think the plan is working. Just giving yourself a, an idea, a subject to concentrate on. Looking for these man-made objects that just stand out in the landscape. I mean, this uh, little ring here is quite uh, interesting. There's another one over there. If I could get a shot of that from somewhere with the uh, just the plain trees in the background. Well, having this plan was really paying off. If I hadn't been concentrating on looking for man-made objects, I probably would have been taking more landscape shots of the whole creek with the boats in the background and the rolling hills. Which one would be nice, but this may be a look for some more interesting photographs maybe. Really like this uh, red uh, ring in the foreground and of course another one that on a uh, blue sky day we're just crying out to be turned to, into a black and white and of course composition wise you can see what I've done using the rule of thirds for both the uh, horizon and the post that the uh, ring is hanging on. So with this one clearly I was all the way across the other side of the uh, creek and I had to zoom in a long way to capture this. And uh, again, I've turned it into a black and white, just leaving the red. But what I really do like with this is the color of the reflection. The, for some reason, the light just made the uh, red color pop. Well, I think I might call it a day. It's been quite a nice morning cycling around my local area. And the creek here is always uh, really nice. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you give it a like, it'll help other people find the channel. Bye for now. Cheerio. Well, before you go, I'll just leave you with this last image. I really have gone to town in post-processing with this. The reflections of the boats flipped upside down 
given lots of colour. Well, go out there, have a plan and have fun. <laughs>